Hi students, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, I am explaining the solution of question number 5, 6, 7 and 8 of miscellaneous exercise chapter 2 relations and function. Question number 5, find the domain and range of the real function f defined by f of x is equal to mod of x minus 1. The solution is First here we have the function f of x is equal to mod of x minus 1. So for the mod function, this is a modulus function. For the modulus function, whatever the input value you give, always you are going to get the answer in positive form only. Already we have discussed in the theory concept the modulus function as mod x. So inside this function, whatever input you give, either positive or negative, if you write minus 1, then you get the answer 1. If you write 1, then you get the answer 1. So for all the negative as well as positive values, this particular function will give you the answer 1. So here we are talking about the modulus function. The only difference is that we have here x minus 1, mod x minus 1. Now here, uh, so uh, we can give here all kind of values. The in positive integer, negative number, 0, any value we can give. That means here domain is real number. The set of real number is a domain. Next here we need to find out the range. See the range is you can see that as uh, we can give here all kind of values positive as well as negative values. For this particular function if I give the value 0, 0 minus 1 I get the answer here 0 minus 1 minus 1 mod of minus 1 is 1. Then next here, if I input here 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so I get the answer 0. If I input here 2, 2 minus 1, that is 1, so answer is 1. If I input here minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, that is, is equal to minus 2, mod of minus 2 is equal to 2. Then again, if I put here minus um, 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 1, so that becomes minus 4, mod of minus 4 is equal to 4. So here, whatever input you give, either positive or negative, you are going to get only the positive answer. That means the set of positive number, the set of positive real number, as well as 0, belongs to the range here. So we can say that here, by just by referring the table, you can see that I have given here the value, x value as minus 3, I got the answer 4, minus 2, 3, minus 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2. So, for negative as well as positive values, I am getting here only the positive real numbers, positive values as well as 0. So, the here, so here the range is R plus we can write. R plus indicates all the positive real numbers and in the positive real numbers set, uh, it begins from 1, 2, 3 like that way. So, 0 is not included. So, that's why I am writing here 0 also just by putting union of 0. So, set of all positive real numbers and 0 comes under range. So, this is about question number 5 solution. Next, question number 6. Let f is equal to x comma x square divided by 1 plus x square x belongs to r be a function from r to r. Determine the range of f. So, here we need to find out the range. They have given the ordered pair. See, just by seeing this one, you can say that this is an ordered pair. Ha as here we have two elements and the elements are written within the parenthesis and uh, there is a comma here. So, that means they have given the ordered pair. If it is an ordered pair, then the first value is the x and the second value is the y value. So, here... Ordered pairs mean you, you, you know here or in the case of ordered pair if you have 2, 4 then 2 is mapping to 4. So the first element belongs to the first set and the second element belongs to the second set. So here also this is the x value and this is a y value. So we need to find out here the range. So the solution is we have the function f for f. Uh, f is equal to x comma x square divided by 1 plus x square such that x belongs to r. So they have given the ordered pair. So this is the x value and this is the y value. Let us put some values. They have already given that x belongs to the set of real number. So, I will give here positive values as well as uh, negative values and then see what answer we get here. For x, uh, x equal to 0, if I put here x equal to 0, then this is a y. So, x square divided by 1 plus x square, 0 square plus 1 plus 0 square, we get the answer 0 by 1, that is 0. Then if x equal to 1, 
Then I get the answer 1 square divided by 1 plus 1 square 1 divided by 1 plus 1 half that is 0 0.5. Then if x equal to 2 then I get the answer 0 0.4. x equal to minus 1. See here minus 1 means and 1 there is no any difference here as we are talking about the square. We do here square of the number. So even if you have negative numbers also you get positive answer only. Same answer for 1 as well as minus 1 0 0.5. Then minus 2 minus 2 square divided by 1 plus minus 2 square 4 divided by 1 plus 4 is equal to 4 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.4 then minus 3 for that you get the answer 0 0.36 like the same way I will give you some big number x is equal to minus 20 then I get the answer 0 0.997 see if you observe this one uh, just from the beginning 0 2 it will give go to some large quantity that is 0 0.9999 but it is not going up to 1 1 is not included or 2 is not included it will reach uh, less than 1. So, uh, we can say that the range, the range begins from 0 and it is less than 1. So, if I do the table, you can see that I have given here negative values as well as positive values. So, we get here 0 0.36, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 like that way up to 0 0.99 and the smallest value is here 0. So, 0 is included and it may, it may go up to 0 0.999. So, uh, the range is closed interval 0 as 0 is included comma here 1 it is an open interval because 1 is not included all the values are less than 1 you can observe that here so that's why here this is an open interval so range is equal to closed interval 0 comma 1 next your seventh question let fg r minus r be defined respectively by f of x is equal to x plus 1 g of x is equal to 2x minus 3 find f plus uh, g f minus g and f divided by g so here they have given two function f and g we need to find out f plus g f minus g and f divided by g so the function is uh, defined on real numbers r to r so f, x, f of x is equal to x plus 1, g of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Plus, uh, first let us find out the uh, addition, f plus g. f plus g means, you know, in the algebra function, if there are two functions, then we can write f plus g as f of x plus g of x. f of x we know, x plus 1 plus g of x, 2x minus 3. So here, x plus 2x that becomes 3x 1 minus 3 minus 2 so we get the answer here 3x minus 2 then f of sorry f minus g f minus g can be written as f of x minus g of x f of x is x plus 1 minus g of x is 2x minus 3 2x minus 3 so x plus 1 this becomes minus 2x minus minus become plus so plus 3 that is, is equal to x minus 2x is minus x 1 plus 3 is 4 so minus x plus 4 so here we got f minus g next f divided by g so f of x divided by g of x that is, is equal to f of x is x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 3 see here we are doing the division operation and uh, this is related to the rational function if you if uh, any function is in the form p by q then q value should not be equal to 0 that we have to check here so this value must not be equal to 0 so 2x minus 3 is not equal to 0 so 2x is not equal to 3 moving this 3 to this side then that becomes plus then x is equal to 3 divided by 2 so x is not equal to 3 divided by 2 so here f by g in this particular function x value cannot be equal to 3 by 2 other than that it can have any value because if it becomes 3 by 2 then here we get the answer 0 and that is not valid so that's why this value cannot be equal to 3 by 2 so that's about the seventh question next here we'll discuss the eighth question uh, let f is equal to 1 1 2 3 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 be a function from z to z defined by f of x is equal to ax plus b for some integers a and b determine a comma b see here they have uh, given a function with the different ordered pairs 1 1 2 3 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 and the function is defined on integer values it's given that z to z so integers it may be positive integer or it may be negative integers and the function is defined as f of x is equal to ax plus b so here we need to find out the a value as well as b value 
see first of all here already we have the values here x value they have given they have given the ordered pairs that means this is x this is y so 1 2 0 minus 1 all these are the domain values and the range values are 1 3 minus 1 minus 3 so now let us put uh, any of these two ordered pair values here in the equation and then based on that we will find out uh, a as well as b so we have the function f of x is equal to ax plus b and this f of x is nothing but y so y is equal to ax plus b now first I will take the first ordered pair 1 1 so at x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 just uh, put x and y value in this equation so y is 1 1 is equal to a into x is also 1 a into 1 plus b so this becomes 1 is equal to a plus b so just uh, name this one as the equation 1 so we got equation 1 next here you take the second ordered pair 2 3 so x is 2 here y is 3 here so just replace these values in the place of x and y. So y is 3 here. 3 is equal to a into x is 2 plus b. So 3 is equal to 2a plus b. So we got the, uh, just name this one as the second equation. So we have here now two equation. Now here, just subtract these two equations. 1 is equal to a plus b. 3 is equal to 2a plus b. Subtract these two equations. Then we get here b minus b, that is 0. Then a minus 2a, that is minus a. 1 minus 3 minus 2. So we get here, if you move this to this side and this to this side, a is equal to 2. So we got the a value. Now in this particular equation, 1 is equal to a plus b. Just put the a value and based on that, find out the b value. So a is equal to 2. So 1 is equal to 2 plus b. So b is equal to 1 minus 2. Move this 2 to this side. So 1 minus 2. That is b is equal to minus 1. So here we got a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 1. And our original equation may look like this way. The function f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 where a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 1. So this is about uh, the solution of question 5, 6, 7 and 8 of miscellaneous exercise of set uh, relation and function chapter. If you like this video, please click the like button and also subscribe to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor to get regular updates. Thanks for watching.